Thank you so much for taking your time and uh, to help me. Okay, you are welcome. Okay, so basically in this time, I already developed your algorithm. Okay, so basically in this time, you want to make the chlorophyll concentration using um, MODIS satellite reflectance data. Okay, so I already do that. Okay, so now I will show you this process. So mainly what's the algorithm I want to use. So if you want to accept this algorithm, then you can get the code. Otherwise, you don't need. Okay, so I will show you the algorithm first. Okay, so let's go. So just to simply share my screen. Uh, okay, can you see my screen now? No. Okay, so basically here you can see. Basically, in this uh -huh. time, uh, I use this image. So basically, it's the MODIS Equa Ocean Reflectance Daily Global Data Set. And uh, in this data set, uh, we can, uh, this resolution is the 1000 meter. Okay. And basically, this data set provides you some band, such as uh, MODIS uh, 8 band, 9, 10, 11. So this type of band we can easily access uh, from here. And yeah. This data set uh, mainly uh, this data set is already uh, clip or already mosaic all of those unnecessary pixel such as cloud cover or cloud shadow or snow or water. This type of unnecessary pixel is already uh, removed. So that's why in this time when you are using this data, we can get the very clear imagery mainly clear reflectance data from the ocean. We can get very clearly. So here you can see, uh, this is the user guide about this data. So basically, okay, just to show you that how I can get it. So basically, yeah, this is our result about that. So basically, in this time we can get this type of call map. Okay, so in this time, uh, here you can see I said this. Uh, basically, uh, in this time it's a chlorophyll. Chlorophyll mainly it also connected with the aqua bloom. Okay, so I hope you already know about the aqua bloom. So aqua bloom and chlorophyll concentration is uh, the similar things. Suppose aqua bloom mainly the different types of chlorophyll concentration and create the aqua bloom on the water bodies. So in this time, uh, we are just applying what's the con uh, consideration, what is the uh, for the different water body, what is the um, concentration of the aqua bloom okay so basically aqua bloom and chlorophyll a concentration is a similar concept suppose i show you the example i simply search the google so that there are, uh, they are same meaning are they same meaning uh, which one uh aqua bloom and uh chlorophyll concentration uh, are the same are yes same? yeah same things I guess mm -hmm. suppose I can see. So just I simply open from the Wikipedia site and try to show you that. So aqua bloom or algal bloom is rapid increase or accumulation in the uh, population of algae in the freshwater or marine water system. And uh, basically, it's open uh, recognize the dispersion and water from the algae uh, pigments. Okay. And um, in this time, uh, algal bloom are result of nutrient like new uh, nitrogen, phosphorus from various source of the example. Okay, and, and consequence range of the feeding the higher topographic level of the more harmful effect like the blocking. So in this time, it show you a different types of uh, effect of the aqua bloom. So in this time, basically uh, in this time for the chlorophyll, in the chlorophyll A concentration when you want to use the modis satellite imagery then we have to uh, use the use this process basically we find out the aqua bloom and where we find out the high concentration of the aqua bloom it's identify the high concentration of the chlorophyll concentration mm -hmm. so suppose in this time here you can see i can find out uh, this type of region is that high concentration red color so here you can see this is our product and here we can get uh, basically this type of color it's identify about the low concentration and this type of red yeah. color identify about the high concentration about the aqua bloom okay so in this time from this map we can easily get it uh, about the um, where the high where the low we can easily find out and this pixel size suppose this pixel mainly one pixel is that 1000 meter area cover okay, basically it's a modis 
so that's how you can get this type of pixel area it's cover 1000 meter okay mm -hmm. so in this time you want to check what is the value about that suppose i click on the next tab and click on the red color so in this time you can get the high aqua bloom concentration for this red color concentration here you can so you can get the specific coordinate as well as we also find out what's the IQ bloom we can get this uh, 1790 okay yeah. so this is the value about for the high concentration and uh, mm -hmm. and in this time i talk about the data set first of all let's check about the data in this time i use the data you can see it's data set is the aqua ocean reflectance daily global one kilometer resolution data set so basically this data set uh, is the ocean reflectance product consists of one kilometer reflectance data from aqua modis uh, band 8 to 16. so basically in this time yeah. this data set is the derivative from aqua modis bands 8 to 16. okay so mm -hmm. in this time this data is the modify suppose uh, i have the aqua modis it's my main product okay from this main product is created it's created the aqua ocean reflectance daily global data set okay and this mm -hmm. product is referred uh, as the ocean reflectance because the bands eights are the used primarily to produce the ocean product but this is not ocean product as the tiles produced are land tiles okay mm -hmm. as well as you can also see about that we try to check the general documentation about this data set then we also get the more information basically this data set is the derivative okay not the source main source of the modis this data set is uh, created from the modis aqua modis data okay mm -hmm. and, th and then yeah. when when they create this data they can uh, apply the different types of algorithm so that's why it remove all of those cloud all of those unnecessary pixel will be removed from here where we get the very better uh, reflectance value from the new version about this data set so here you can see basically uh, this is the uh, data set main product the mode is one kilometer resolution level 2g ocean land okay and this data set uh, mainly it uh, created uh, this the ocean reflectance new version data okay and when they create this type of data they are mainly um, re uh, remove all of those unnecessary pixel all of those things they are removed from here and then get the better imagery from here okay for the reflectance data so here you can see that the lot of information about this data set as well as you can see about that mode is it is a modis surface reflectance user guide mainly it is a modis land yeah. surface reflectance okay so basically in this time they are also provide the more information about the modis mainly how they create this modis data how they make the processing this type of data but in this time uh in google earth engine platform they are directly add this processing data suppose modis aqua data they uh, all of those things they are making and create the reflectance data so in this time this data is not any kind of cloud or anything they are not included in here mm -hmm. okay so here you can see uh mod is uh, processing how they process this data okay so you can get a lot of information from here and also mod is surface lifting data product how they create it also you can get that uh, different types of okay you can see the cloud information suppose i simply cloud all cloud information should be derivative from the qa sets and in particular state one kilometer okay so basically all cloud uh, they are removed from here and we can uh, it's uh, it totally provide you with a very uh, cloud free imagery from that okay it's just only pro provide the reflectance data without cloud okay you can see the whether pixel is cloudy or not okay so in this time this type of cloud is already removed from here and this is the imagery i also show you the imagery so basically it's our uh result analysis but this analysis you can get from here so in this time this is our result about that so it's show the um, modis data okay so basically it's a false color bloom so just i simply open this it's a modis okay, this is our imagery so this imagery mm -hmm. we can easily add the different types of color when you can see they are there the mainly eight band we can get from here you can easily anyone suppose i put at the eight then put at that suppose nine and then put at the suppose ten so now customer stress 98 percent and further i just try to apply so now it's set this type of band combination here you can so you can get this type of band combination so basically it's including all of those modis reflectance band okay 
and we can easily get all of those modis reflectors band and further we are just applying the algorithm and we can get uh, this type of result okay so basically in this time it show about the aqua bloom and basically in this time it not mass any code just we are just call the reflectance variables basically surface reflectance band 15 and 13 okay so this yeah. is the two band we call and further we are just uh, applying the uh, subtract these two things suppose this sub we, we are just subtracting then we can find out the bloom okay and bloom and chlorophyll concentration is the uh, similarity similar concept suppose where we find out the high concentration of the chlorophyll it's indicating the high concentration of the bloom on the water body and Aqua bloom. Me, and you know the of the yes and, and uh, is that the same value or the same value on which one? Equal and uh, equal and uh, color A uh, are the uh, same value. Yes, equal and chlorophyll concentration uh, is the same concept. Basically, equal uh, bloom it's the it's the chlorophyll high concentration of the chlorophyll. Okay. Suppose I show you that. Suppose aqua bloom and chlorophyll. Or suppose relation. Okay, the measurement of the chlorophyll A uh, in aquatic system has usually correlated to the uh, harmful al algae and water bodies okay so in this time when we find out the high concentration of the chlorophyll a it's indicating the high chlor uh, uh, high algal bloom on the water bodies okay so basically uh, the it's a similar concept mainly what's the relationship between the phytoplankton and chlorophyll a or aqua bloom okay so it's a similar okay so it's one kind of method mm -hmm. if you want you can also suppose when you want to use a sentinel imagery then we have to use the another method for the chlorophyll a concentration okay for the uh, chlorophyll a we can easily uh, develop this type of method this it's called the ndci suppose ndci okay it's very effective because it's the 10 meter resolution only for the 10 meter okay so here you can see this is the uh, it's called the normalized difference chlorophyll index so just i try to open this uh, paper so basically using this index you can also get the more better result than modis okay and in this time we are using the sentinel to surface reflectance imagery okay mm -hmm. and the, it's very popular algorithm you basically there are the lot of work already done using this algorithm so if, if you want you can also try it suppose normalize difference chlorophyll index uh, uh in here okay so in this time this is our formula about that ndci formula okay let me check about your core uh, region of interest what we can get when i use the sentinel imagery what the result I can get, I will show you that. Okay, and it's very popular algorithm because it's only for the 10 meter resolution. Okay, so that's why all of those pixel we can get the very uh, high accuracy than Modis because Modis is the 1000 meter. It covered the very long area, so that's why the accuracy is uh, lower than Sentinel. Sentinel, you can get the result for 10 meter resolution, so it's more better. Okay, 